Hey everyone, it's Joelle and welcome back to my channel. So for today, I am going to be trying out something a little bit different. We're going to be trying out the Delarica Pop of Color Hair Mask. It was just something that was sent to me. This video is not sponsored. It was just something fun to do, fun to hopefully try a different hair color. But of course, before we get started, please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. <laughs> I am also sick because it is the month of December and I for some reason tend to always get sick in the month of December. So that would also explain why I like don't wear makeup anymore. <laughs> but of course before we get started please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. Once we reach 60,000 subscribers I'll be sending any one of you any product line of your choice. Also I am hoping to do my first live chat with you guys on Saturday. Still kind of deciding on a time, probably more towards the evening to make sure people are home, but I'm hoping this coming Saturday we can do our first live chat. Also, if you're the owner of a business, especially a black owned business, please send me an email at charmainejoyelle at gmail.com or you can go ahead and go down to the description box and fill out a promo request form. But let's get started. So I was sent this box. And it's this Delarica Pop Color Mask. And I kind of emailed back and forth with some of the uh, people who had sent it to me. And it's a hairstylist who basically wanted to create a product where you could just get a custom hair color and do it at home. So the only thing you have to do is everything is mixed by professional and then you just apply it yourself, right? So again, this wasn't sponsored. It was just something that they were like, hey, we'll send it to you if you want to try it. And so I was like, sure. Uh, you guys know I kind of had been all about this whole like changing my hair color thing so that's kind of been all over the place so I thought I would just try that and again it came with everything and the first instruction was to actually shampoo my hair I've never actually dyed my hair I've never been in a professional setting to ever have my hair dyed so I wasn't sure if you're really supposed to do it on wet or dry hair but this is shampoo your hair and then apply this so that's what I did and that's where we'll start I just got done with shampooing my hair and I shampooed twice. So I shampooed first with the Camille Rose Ginger Cleansing Rinse and then I went in with the Kroger brand. It's like a dandruff two-in-one green apple scented shampoo, kind of like head and shoulders off brand. So Delarica Premium Italian Hair Color. They sent me a box of, they said it's not technically hair dye. They said it's kind of like henna. It deposits color. So it doesn't bleach. Pop color will not lighten your hair. It will only deposit. You requested the warm blonde, which will give more of a gloss and a shine. Yeah, they gave me like four choices and I decided to try the blonde because if you guys didn't know, I did, for Halloween I dressed up as Jasmine from Boondocks and she and I had used a gold and a white hair wax to make my hair more blonde, kind of like hers. And it was really pretty and a lot of people really liked it. So I thought, and I was like, should I try actually dyeing my hair that blonde? But bleaching your hair pretty much destroys your hair. And I have put way too much effort into my hair to just destroy it, <laughs> trying to get a certain color. So if this isn't supposed to bleach my hair, I do feel better about that. So it's just supposed to deposit color. So instructions one, shampoo your hair with any cleansing shampoo, check. Mix the color and conditioner into a creamy consistency using the color brush. Cool, I just turned on some extra lights. Oh my gosh, my eyes are so red. I'm still getting over the flu, so if I sound nasally and stuffy, and if my eyes look all crazy, I've been sniffling <laughs> for like a week straight. Anywho, mix the color and conditioner into a creamy consistency using the color brush. Well, this is the only color thing, oh, it's already kind of dolloped in there, that's why. So, I'm gonna mix together with this brush here. I am terrified, what am I doing? Like, uh, cute, okay, here's what it looks like. Hmm. Okay, now it smells a little Harsh. Oh god, that stinks. So I've mixed it into a creamy consistency using that brush. And now I need to put on my gloves and whatnot. So it came with gloves. Nice. Okay, so apparently I'm supposed to use that all over my hair. It says from, it says apply the mask onto your hair using the brush all over from scalp to ends. But like, <laughs> That's all you gave me? I 
I think what I'm going to do is instead of from root to end, I'm going to keep it from like, not all the way to the root. So I'm actually going to try this in the mirror in the bathroom and then I'll come back once I kind of have like a flow going. Okay. I'm going to do this section. Lightly detangle with my Felicia Leatherwood brush. Just so the ends aren't as crazy. This is my freshly shampooed hair. I have it deep conditioned. There's no other products on here. And then we're just taking thin sections. So here's one right here. And then I just have my brush kind of lightly dipped and I put some on the ends here and then I'm brushing it on both sides of this hair. And then what I do, whoop, I want to take my fingers now and massage it into that piece of hair. And then every time I'm done applying it to a section, I just add it to the already applied pile and then mush it all together and then put it in a twist just to put it out of the way until we get a bag for it. So now I'm just gonna repeat that. I'm not going up to my roots just yet either. I know it said from root to end, but I just, it's such a tiny amount that I don't know if it's gonna cover my whole head just yet, so <laughs> we will see. See, and now I'm gonna join these two pieces together and smush them, ah, not with the unprocessed part. Ugh. Okay. it in smaller sections. Now I'm just gonna do a really quick two strand twist and move on to the rest of my hair before it gets too dry. <laughs> all right, all right, so we got th three down. Okay, so I finished applying it all over in sections. I don't have any band ties in my hair. These are just twisted and then left alone. <clears throat> and I did end up using the whole thing. So I started off small and then went back to the sections. And now I just have to put this cap on and wear my hair like that for 15 minutes. So let me see if I can even, I'm, I'm gonna put a plastic bag over it but I'm gonna go grab a trash bag and put it over this and then I will be back to rinse in about 15 minutes. like with everything rinsed out I went ahead and did a deep conditioning treatment because that's just how my hair is. I said you didn't have to condition but I did anyway and it's a light detangle and it seems a little bit lighter on my ends. 
but honestly nothing too dramatic so what I'm gonna do then is apply my leave-ins and twist my hair up and then I'm actually gonna come show you guys what it looks like tomorrow once it's fully dried and then we'll go out in the sun and kind of see if we can pick up on any of the warm blonde but yeah let me just go ahead and moisturize and I'll see you guys tomorrow why does my thing look like it's tilted but all right so it's the next morning my braids are dry I haven't seen much of a color change to be completely honest with you. Um, it did say it was supposed to be more of a warm blonde and it would give my hair more of like a glossy finish. So let me undo these. Okay, so I've untwisted all of these and I'm not <laughs> noticing a huge color difference. I noticed like right here at the front, it seems a little bit lighter. A little bit more golden-y than usual. And that was the color, it was warm gold. But I did what it said. I shampooed my hair. Shampoo your hair with a cleansing shampoo. Did that, mix the color and conditioner into a creamy consistency. Put on your gloves, apply the mask to your hair. And then once it's applied, wrap the hair up, covering it for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, lather and rinse, no need to shampoo or condition. I just deep condition because that's just how my hair type is. Yeah, I don't really notice a huge change, to be honest with you, which is fine. It was just a fun little experiment, but let's go outside. I mean, I'm in the sun right now, but it's, it's, Tiny. It's nothing too crazy. Like, if you saw them before and then after, you probably wouldn't really be able to tell. But, yeah. This does make me want to try henna, though. Have, have any of you guys ever tried henna on your hair? Is there a blonde-ish henna? I thought about doing maybe red, but I like the idea that it deposits color and doesn't bleach your hair. So it's got to be a lot healthier, so... I have considered trying henna, maybe on like a bottom piece first just to see it before doing it on like my entire head, but I haven't considered doing that. I know Lush sells some and I'm sure there's tons of different henna brands and stuff like that. Um, if you guys have a favorite brand that you've used, please let me know. Maybe give my hair a couple more months and then maybe try that, but I am interested in trying henna actually. But I hope this was a fun video. I know, I've been, again, I've been super terrible with Vlogmas, and I seem to get sick every December. Something always happens. Last year, I swore off not even trying Vlogmas, and then I was like, well, maybe I'll try it again this year. And he caught a chest and head cold, so I couldn't talk for a few days, and I sound sniffly and snuffy, and it's just been insane. So I'm gonna just go ahead and start separating this out, actually. Let me separate it, and then I'll come back. So I'm just taking each section down here and separating it like two or three times. Nothing too crazy, just get more volume. I used to like never separate out my hair, ever. If you wanna do it smaller, do it smaller. If you think you like the size it's at, leave it where it's at. I just kinda of break it up where it's naturally starting to kinda of separate. I've gone ahead and just separated as much of this as I could. Wow, there's a huge chunk right here, what the heck. This side was still a little wet, so it's gonna be probably looking a little crazy, but, and then, does anyone hate how they do their hair and like, you split your hair in half and it leaves like, this split right here? It's obnoxious, it drives me crazy and I'm thinking about just, thinking about just doing a piece that I can just kinda do right here so that I don't have that problem, but can't really tell, honestly. Sometimes I think it looks lighter and sometimes I think it doesn't. I don't know, but it was fun to try. I think if my hair was, I think my hair is already kind of dark, so I would have probably had to do a different color than blonde, but these are my results. Honestly, it didn't damage my hair, so I'm not mad. And I feel like I'm, now I feel like I'm going crazy. Now I feel like I can see the ends are a little lighter. Maybe that's just because they're out of the twist. But these were my results from the Della Rica Pop of Color. This was just something fun, it's not sponsored. You guys know I've been kind of on this whole like, trying a different hair color thing. And this was sent to me and I thought it'd be fun to try it. See if it would give me a little pop of color and kind of experiment around. But maybe instead I'll just try a henna. I hope that you guys did enjoy this quick video. But please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. 
I'm gonna go take some cold medicine, keep blueing, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.